Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV. We're going to start off differently on this 1998 Four Winds Fun Mover. This unit was consigned to us by the previous owner who used this toy hauler to help fulfill his son's lifelong dream of seeing historical sites around the United States. We will be donating our commission from this sale to Dream Foundation of Kentucky in honor of Mitchell Barnes, who suffered from Duchenne muscular dystrophy and unexpectedly passed away recently. Stick around till the end of the video or check out the links in the description below to learn learn more about Mitch and Mitchell, the inspiring father-son duo who are the driving force behind Dream Foundation, a charity committed to building handicap accessible playgrounds for all to use, as well as researching and developing a cure for muscular dystrophy. We're sure Mitch would appreciate your support during these trying times, so please show some love to the Barnes family in the comments below, and please donate to the Dream Foundation if you feel called to do so, or do your part to spread awareness of their mission. Alrighty folks, as you have just seen, a portion of this sale is going to be donated to the Dream Foundation of Kentucky in honor of Mitchell Barnes who has passed away this past year. I will elaborate on that story a little more as well as take you through the tour of this 1998 Four Winds Fun Mover. So we have previously had purchased this unit and had brought it here to our location. We did it, ran it through our normal inspection and repair process that we do on all of our RVs. Uh, this was in July of 2019 that it was on our lot for sale. So Mitchell and his father Mitch had seen this RV and were interested in purchasing it. They did have a few requests and uh, customizations that they needed done to this unit for them to make it usable for them. Um, so we were able to complete those requests for them. They then purchased this unit from us. Uh, they've owned it for the last year and a half here, I believe it was. Uh, it's now December 2020. They had purchased it towards the end of July 2019 with 39,000 miles. It now has 46,000 miles on it. Um, Mitchell has passed away, unfortunately, and Mitch no longer um, has a need or use for this RV. So he has asked us to consign this unit for him. Uh, so this is a consignment unit. You will be purchasing this as is um, through our dealership from uh, the previous owner. So this is a consignment unit. Um, a portion of the consignment, basically our commission, which is 10%, is going to be donated to the Dream Foundation of Kentucky in honor of Mitchell Barnes, who has passed away this past year. Um, the story kind of somewhat is that last year when they came in and purchased this, Mitchell is disabled. Um, they needed something that was handicap accessible. They were having a hard time finding that. Um, they seen this and thought maybe we could make this handicap accessible for Mitchell. Uh, we were able to do that and make this handicap accessible for him. So they purchased this unit and then uh, Mitchell was going through college, I think about to complete college to become a history teacher. History was his passion. Um, so his father wanted to be able to take him a few places around the country uh, to do a small US tour to visit some of the sites. One that I remember was Gettysburg. Um, they wanted to go see some of these sites since his son had a, a, a passion for history um, and he was gonna become a history teacher that he could then uh, kind of see some of these sites. This here, sorry to zoom in on that. I was trying to finish the story. This is your kind of command center. This here is the thermostat for the propane furnace. Uh, this is a four person unit. So we're gonna sleep two people here on the dinette. This table is gonna drop down. We're gonna rearrange our cushions and make a bed here that'll sleep two people. We do have a nice large side window here on this side. Some overhead cabinetry there as well. The other two people are gonna sleep in the bunk, which I will show you on the way back towards the front of the coach. Kitchen area here is on the passenger side of this unit. We have the switch for our water heater here, remote start for our Onan 4K gasoline generator, which is showing 350 hours located there. And then this switch operates the power step that is located outside of the unit. This board here flips down and fills in your stairwell. Um, that is one of the things that we did do for them because Mitchell was in a wheelchair. Uh, they didn't want to drop a tire in that um, stairwell there and uh, have him bash up against the wall. We do have a single basin kitchen sink chrome faucet, a three burner cooktop here, a nice backsplash there on the end wall, range hood fan, microwave just above that, We've got some more storage here, as well as some storage below the kitchenette area there. 
We do have a nice large fridge freezer combination unit here. This is a two way, so it's going to run on 12 volt, excuse me, it's going to run on propane gas or 110 volt electricity. Freezer compartment up top with the refrigerator unit down low. A little more storage overhead here. The switch here is a master switch to turn off the lights in the toy hauler portion of this. Um, they actually use the toy hauler portion of this as Mitchell's bedroom. This large wardrobe there. This does have a wet bath. A wet bath combines your toilet, bathroom, sink, shower all into one unit. Uh, this can serve space. The shower curtain is missing, but you're going to pull the shower curtain around you to keep your uh, cabinetry and everything dry while you are showering. Bathroom sink there, mirror on the wall. So you can either sit on the stool or you can stand here. Oh, but you're actually going to take your shower in this area when you pull that curtain around you. This is a formed fiberglass drain pan. Water's going to run to the drain there. Obviously, your toilet stool there. Uh, so one of the other requests for this, there was, um, I think it was a pocket door or a sliding door, if memory serves me correctly, um, on this unit. Um, and this doorway was much smaller. Um, I think it was a slider. I'm trying to think now and I can't remember. But anyways, there was a door here. So this was actually a narrower, op a narrower opening. Um, we had to remove that door and uh, kind of cut the wall back here a little bit to make it flush with this wall so that he could get his uh, power chair through this opening and up into the front of the coach. So we widened that. Um, he also wanted to be able to use the toy hauler portion of this unit as Mitchell's bedroom. Um, so we removed the original flooring that was in here and um, put all new vinyl flooring all the way throughout the unit to make it all match. The vent, these two guys here, there's one on the opposite wall, that is a vent. Uh, your toy haulers have to have some sort of a vent since you are carrying, uh, often carrying a motorized vehicle, ATV, motorcycle, something like that back here that uh, can create fumes and that does need a vent. Uh, garage style door here. Another one of the things that he did request from us um, while they were on the road, he wanted to be able to give Mitchell some sort of kind of a bath or shower. So we actually uh, cut this drain in here. Um, I believe he uh, rinsed Mitchell down back here kind of also gave him a shower here. That drain goes directly down onto the ground. That does not go into any of those tanks. That does just drop directly onto the ground as it's just um, soiled water. I am going to take a pause here and I'm going to get a few measurements back here and I will jump right back in. All right, so this measurement here, this door opening is roughly 31 inches. So we've got a roughly 31 inch door opening here. Coming back into the toy hauler, uh, from the garage door up to the front wall is 101.5 inches. 101.5 inches. The inside width back here is uh, 95.5 inches wide from side to side. The entrance coming into the door, into the toy hauler, so the dimensions of the door opening here is six foot tall, six foot tall and 87 inches wide. The door is 87 inches wide at the opening. For those of you that follow our channel, you know that we always tell a joke or a riddle in every single one of our videos. And this one kind of reminded me of Mitchell since he is a teacher. Who never toots in public? Who never toots in public? A private tutor. Uh, we're gonna come back towards the front of this unit now. On this wall here, we do have a ladder. There is a, a hatch here that you can access the roof. You can climb up through there if you need to clean your roof, uh, do any maintenance or check out your roof. You can do that there. Noxious gas detector. Uh, speaker back here. This light can be turned off directly on the light itself or you can use the master switch up front that I showed you. Again, another speaker there. A couple of 110 outlets here. Get another light there on that wall. Coming back into the living area of this toy hauler. You can see down both sides here. Uh, you may ask why are we uh, giving a portion of the proceeds for this uh, fund mover to um, the Dream Foundation of Kentucky in honor of Mitchell. Uh, we're doing that just, they both kind of stood out to us, very special people. Uh, we like the story that uh, they wanted to get out and see the country uh, for Mitchell with his uh, disability and stuff like that. Just the type of people that I remembered. Um, so when he 
texted me or called me a few weeks ago and said he wanted to consign this. We agreed upon it. Um, he dropped it off here. Um, actually, I think I made, a, made uh, Mitch cry. Um, I didn't know exactly how to tell him. Uh, I am a Christian. The Lord kind of spoke to me one night and said, hey, why don't you uh, forego a few bucks here, uh, your normal commission, and donate it to something. So I texted Mitch about it. Um, he, he texted me back and said I, I instantly made him cry when he seen my text message and knew right away where the uh, donation that we we're going to make should go. Uh, because Mitchell was already active in the community in um, getting some handicap accessible playgrounds built in the greater Louisville and Louisville area. So right away, the thing just whole kind of clicked together. It was like, we got to do this. So that's kind of the story. Uh, Mitch would, Mitchell would then, sorry, I keep confusing the two. Uh, Mitchell would roll his power chair up into here. So we also installed some tie downs. Um, you can't, might not see, you'll be able to see them all the greatest because of the light floor, but there's one, two, three, four. Um, it's tucked back up here along the wall. You can't see that one. But he would roll his power chair up into here, and then they would strap his power chair to the floor, so that way he was safely fastened down to the floor in this unit and could travel along with them. Um, the straps that they, I believe that they actually used to tie his chair down, uh, they did leave those. I think that's what these are up here in the corner. Um, you can, there is no TV in this unit. There is a TV mount there if you want to install a TV. This is where you're going to sleep your th third and fourth person in this cab over bunk. You can sleep two people comfortably up here. Nice big large area. Uh, skylight over hot head to get some, some airflow. This is on the Ford Econoline chassis. Uh, it is a 1998 Four Winds Fun Mover. Uh, does not have power windows, does not have power locks. It does have tilt and cruise. Uh, currently has 46 223 on the odometer. Uh, they had purchased it with just a little bit over uh, 39,000 miles when they originally purchased it. So that's kind of the story of this one. Uh, if you have any questions on this one, feel free as always to give us a call here at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. Alrighty folks, we are 28 feet from bumper to bumper. It has Michelin tires on it that were installed in July of 2019 after the previous owner had purchased this from us. Uh, they did have the black vinyl wrap put on that you're seeing. Uh, so this does, this originally was white when I sold it to them. Uh, they had a uh, installer put a black vinyl wrap on it for them down in the Louisville, Kentucky area. This is powered by the 6.8 liter Triton V10. It is on the Ford Econoline truck chassis or van chassis, whichever you choose to call it. This compartment here is a small storage compartment. Here we have the access and drain and vent for your water heater. Propane tank. Vent and access to the back of the refrigerator. A couple of exterior outlets. Again, Michelin XPS rib tires. They're about a year and a half old right now. There is another compartment just like this on the opposite side. That is strictly a vent for the toy hauler. Uh, per emissions or safety standards, they have to have a vent on the toy hauler portion of any toy hauler. So that top one is the vent there. Uh, another smaller storage compartment here on the back passenger's corner. The remote for the power lift gate plugs in right there. Here is the remote. So this lift gate here is power. You can raise and lower that with the push of that button there. It does have a tow package. This is just a garage style door. Flip the lever there and roll that up just like a garage door. Again, this one here is the vent on this side. So that really, all it does is just access the inside of that so I don't have that unlocked. Another small storage compartment on the driver's side rear corner here. Gonna fill our gas tank here. The wheel flare or fender skirt, whatever you wanna call it, is busted on this side. Our black and gray water tank dumps. Our shore power cord. Miss this one, it does have an outside shower. This is our vent for our propane furnace. Another small storage compartment here. 
our city water connection. We're going to fill our onboard freshwater tank here. This is used to drain that onboard freshwater tank. And lastly, we have our coach battery, which is located right there. And then our Onan 4K gasoline generator. While we were heartbroken to hear of Mitchell's unexpected passing at 26, we are thankful for unique individuals like him and their inspiring stories that enlarge in our hearts and spur us to take action. Let's hear from Mitch and Mitchell themselves. Mitchell was never able to play in a traditional playground. A traditional swing he would fall out of and get hurt. I really think about that day just like it was yesterday, she said, and you need to find the money to build these and hung up. And, and we have. Dream Foundation started when we found out Mitchell had muscular dystrophy. The mission is twofold. First is muscular dystrophy research for Duchenne's muscular dystrophy and building and participating in handicap accessible playground projects. It defeats the whole purpose because kids just want to be together. They want to just be out there playing together and laughing and having fun. And I think with an accessible playground, We've had lots of different organizations come to us asking advice about playgrounds or they would like to help them build one. By having accessibility and having all people together, I think that really helps people. My dad is a very driven person and when he sets out to do something, he's going to work his hardest to complete it. I do think in my lifetime that we're gonna find a cure for muscular dystrophy. But the need to have fun, accessible family playgrounds isn't gonna go away.